Only it wasn't a door and it wasn't open. It was a glass wall. My teeth hurt. I've run out of words. My name is Angela. This is Life in the UP. I love to watch the leaves fall from the trees. The wind picks up and down they come. Oops. All right, that's better. Samson and I got in a couple miles this morning. We're almost home. Oh, he's taking a break. He follows me so closely. But he knows we're almost to the end of this trail. He's also camera shy, and I think he just knows when I pull the camera out. Because he was right behind me, pulled the camera out, and then he's like, Oop, I'm out of here. Oh, oh, Piper showed up. <laughs> That's nice. Here he comes. But he sees I still have the camera. Smart dog, I taught you. You scared the slug. Yes, you did. <laughs> oh, okay. Do you see this? Ha! I am making apple pie. I made the pie crust um, more like, what's it called? A Dutch apple pie because it's going to have a regular pie crust but like a apple crisp crumble on the top. I don't know. I just started making it that way because that's how I liked it. Now my kids like it that way. But what I wanted to show you is how pretty these apples are. Look at how much color. They're so pretty. They're Macintosh. I don't know that I've ever made a pie with Macintosh apples before, but the colors are so pretty. I just had to share it with you. And if I remember, I'll share the pie when I'm done. Well, not literally. I'll just show you what it looked like. The pie is out of the oven. Here's the thing. It's the middle of September and it's hot here. Well, it's probably in the 70s, but it's very humid, so it feels very hot. I don't know why I decided to make pie today with the oven on, but I did. And now I'm going to show you what it looks like. It looks really good. Check it out. Doesn't that look nice? It is an absolutely beautiful night here. It's getting dark, but before it's too dark to see where I'm walking, I thought I'd get out and go for a walk. I've got Samson with me and Piper with me. The girls have gone on a hike with friends to see some waterfalls, different waterfalls. I'd have loved to have gone there today, but I'm not gonna <laughs> go when they're going with their friends. <laughs> Let's see, Jack has headed out for a run and Dutch is working with the neighbor. So that just leaves me and a couple dogs. So, what a glorious evening. Oh, it's so nice. The weather is going to turn cold soon, I am sure. So while it's, oh boy, I've got little gray wispies there. I thought I'd just come out. 
and enjoy the beautiful night. It was so warm and humid. I was in the kitchen working most of the day. It was so hot. Oh. But I guess this kind of makes up for it. And yes, I could have turned the air conditioner on, but who's going to do that in September in the UP? Not me. Can you see the colors in the trees? Eh, it's pretty dark out here. And a drizzle just started. Kind of a drizzle, but look, there's not much for clouds in the sky. It's like raining. So weird. What do you think, Samson? He's gone. Gone, gone, gone. He's gonna head over to a little pond over there. Samson! Isn't he a pretty dog? Oh wow, it was bright and now it's dark. I gotta figure out how to use the flash on my camera. Man, I've had this for months and I haven't figured that out yet. Well, I haven't really needed it. Nope. All right, I figured it out for a picture, but not for video. There should be some way to turn it on while I'm doing a video. I don't know. Okay, it got too dark for my other camera, so I'm using my phone now with a light on it. <laughs> It's still nice, nice, nice. I love the breeze. But my walk has come to an end. I'm gonna run over the dogs here if I'm not careful. So have a great night. Talk to you later. Sorry, it's late and it's kind of dark in here. And I am home again and I my teeth hurt pretty bad because I ran smack dab into that glass. We're sitting at the urgent care. Jack is next to me. He hurt his ankle tonight. And when he came in, I walked into the door. Let me just find a seat to sit down. Okay, see this here? Right here, I ran into the door. Only it wasn't a door, and it wasn't open. It's a glass wall. My teeth hurt. So what happened was I was walking into the clinic and I thought I'd go in first before Jack went in to make sure they could even handle his situations, otherwise I'd have to take him to the emergency room. So I walked into the walk-in clinic and they had two sets of doors, so I walked through the first set and I glanced to my left because you had to turn left to get into the building and I said, oh, the door's propped open and I went to well, I thought I was going to walk through the door. Instead, I ran smack dab into a glass wall. I left lip impressions on that glass. Right here, I ran into the door. Glass door. I did. I walked through a glass door. Okay. How does it look now? Now I have duck lips and I don't even have to try. Oh, it hurt so bad. I went, oh, and I just turned around. I went back out to the truck. And I'm like, I just walked into the glass, and I'm feeling, are my teeth still there? Are they loose? They're still there. They don't feel loose, but they hurt. They still hurt really bad, and my lip's all icky. But and Jack, he felt bad. I'm like, no. And then I'm like, oh, no, what am I going to do? I'm too embarrassed to go back in. I think the guy working at the desk saw me, which apparently... He didn't, or he's really good at pretending he didn't see something so embarrassing. Because I went in there and I mentioned, I said, I walked into that glass there. And he's like, oh, no. You know, oh, no. And that's pretty much it. And, and I'm like, well, he, are you okay? And I said, well, I'm bleeding. Do you have a tissue? And I, there was a tissue right there. So anyway, <laughs> it was so embarrassing. I didn't want to go back in there, but I thought, what else am I going to do? Anyway, so my teeth really hurt tonight. And Jack has a broken ankle, which is way more serious than me running into the glass. I just thought that was a funny story to tell. Tomorrow we have to see if I can get him into the orthopedic surgeon. The doctor tonight actually was just a nurse practitioner. She thought he'll just need a cast, but so poor Jack. He was playing a game at youth group and broke his ankle. Good night, folks.
Now I have duck lips and I don't even have to try. <laughs>